Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'm looking for a couple, maybe a, a boyfriend and girlfriend or a husband and wife. Some smiling faces out in our audience. Um, let's go right with the front row, if you don't mind. Yeah, hey, you chose the seats. Would you guys mind helping me out for a moment? Yeah, come on up here. Go ahead, give our couple some love, shall you? Right this way, couple. Right this way. I'll have you stand over here. You stand over here. Your name, sir? My name's James. James. And your name? Anne. Anne. Nice to meet both of you. Now, uh, James and Anne, do you two fall into the... Boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife category? Uh, we're married. Husband and wife. Yeah. In how many years? Two years. Two years. Is that uh, total or happy? <laughs> Both. It's a trick question there. Yeah. Totally happy should have been the answer, James. <laughs> James, Ann, and I are going to do a bit of magic land. I brought along here a straight jacket made of rawhide, canvas, and steel. Three very tough and durable materials. I'm going to place the jacket on backwards and give James and Ann step-by-step -step instructions on how to fasten me inside. I'll begin with you, sir, right there. Top buckle behind my neck. Please buckle that buckle as well as the three below it, making all four as tight as they will go. And you can just kind of watch on back there. Make sure he doesn't uh, screw anything up, okay? That's what she does best. Just like at home. For two years. After those buckles are complete going down my back, we will have encased my chest inside of the jacket. And next, we're going to the sleeves. We can see my hands and my fingers are actually sewn inside. How's he doing back there, Ann? Yeah. All right, you can jump in and help him out if you need to. James, when you're through with those four, my friend, next are going to be the arms. I'm going to crisscross them so they're back there with you. This okay. buckle is going to be like a belt going around your waist. Pull that buckle and strap together. Make this one nice and tight, as this takes away a lot of my balance and arm usage. Nice and tight, James. Show no mercy. Even tighter. Look, that's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> He's a listener. <laughs> yes, fine job. Fine job. Tuck that baby in. Perfect. Now all the straps are in place. Except for one. And, yes, uh -oh. watch it. James did all the work so far. Would you please take hold of that strap there? And you're just going to pull that right. To, oh, oh, you can warm me, all right? Pull that towards the back. Buckle that one very carefully. Do not follow James' previous examples, all right? You can make it a little bit tighter than that, though, but uh, thanks for the estimation. Yes, a little bit tighter. It's right there. Okay, yep. Let's tuck it in. Let's leave it right there. We'll go ahead and show. Our audience here and you at home, exactly what that looks like. Everything is in fact secure and no, it's not comfortable. But before we go any further, how about a big hand for our two new friends for helping us out today. Thank you very much. Careful going down the steps. You guys were fantastic. Thank you. I'll need it. Folks, what I'm about to do next is a great photo opportunity. So if you have a camera, go ahead and have it ready. Harry Houdini was born Eric Weiss in Budapest, Hungary in 1874. The Weiss family came to America to pursue the American dream of freedom and opportunity. During Houdini's early days as a magician, he fell in love with escapes. Houdini's escapes have been called world famous, some even say symbolic. In every major city Houdini performed, he would hang upside down over a crowded street and attempt to escape from the straitjacket. His amazing magic and brilliant showmanship wowed people around the world, even President Calvin Coolidge. He's been called one of the greatest magicians of all time, but he was much more than just that. Houdini opened his mind to all of his great potential and in turn did the same for millions around the world. What I am about to do next poses two threats. First, hanging upside down too long, blood rushes to your head. It can make you fall unconscious. But the second, the greater of the two, is if I make one of these restraints undo itself prematurely, it could result in a fall of over 30 feet. Tonight, I do this to honor Harry Houdini, who died 88 years ago on Halloween.
two minutes. One minute. Fifty seconds. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven. 